Hey everybody, Kyle Goth here from GoatFilmReviews.com and the Goat Film Reviews YouTube channel. And I've got my first reaction to the new 2024 film Immaculate, directed by Michael Moen and starring Sidney Sweeney. This is the other side of the first omen, if you will. Uh, and it is set with a sister of the cloth. Is that the term? I don't know. A new nun. A new nun. Um, played by Sidney Sweeney, who arrives, takes her vows, becomes a nun, and then conceives of child um and the whole idea is that they scientifically prove that she has not had sex um that she is a virgin and that scene alone was pretty disturbing and something that bothered me a lot throughout the film but this movie does kind of bother me a lot um in some of the best ways in horror um basically she is with child and they don't know if it's an immaculate conception for jesus or god or if it's an immaculate conception for the dark one, Lucifer. So that's the whole plot of the film, basically. And, and very, like I said, very similar to the first Omen. We always get these kinds of paired out films throughout the year. And this is the B side to that one. Now I'll say this. I didn't care for this movie as much as the first Omen. I think that it's a far superior film. But this one's not bad. Um, it's definitely entertaining. Um, it's definitely exciting. It's definitely disturbing. So it carries a lot of those solid elements that it needs to to be successful. I think Sidney Sweeney does some pretty solid work there in a, in a lead performance. Um, the, the script is a little paper thin at times. Um, and what I mean by that is, is we, we get the introduction, we get what's going on, but we run through that nine minutes of having a baby inside of you very quickly. There's some significant ch time jumps in order to get us to the end in 90 minutes. This movie barrels through its under 90 minute runtime to try and get through this entire story. And you do feel that quickness. You feel that you're kind of losing some of the description in the film. It's kind of in the opposite direction. I appreciate that the movie moves quick, but I don't know that it needed to move that quick. Um, and I think as you discover certain elements of what's at play in the film, certain things don't work as well as their similar versions worked in the first Omen. And I, I don't want to keep making those comparisons, but... The two movies did come out. They do share a lot together, and it's unfortunate that they will be compared that way because I liked this one. I just really liked that one. So uh, given the choice between the two, I would say go with the first Omen over Immaculate. But to be fair, this movie has a lot that I think will work. It's disturbing, and I think there's, there's something about what this church is doing when they find out that she's pregnant in that they're trying to protect her so they can protect the child. But also the ways in which they try to protect her are kind of disturbing on their own. Like I said, they, they have a science, you know, somebody scientifically determine if she's a virgin still, which I think is kind of, it's kind of icky that these like older dudes are inspecting parts of her body to find out if she's had, like that alone, I think I felt very disturbed by because I just didn't really, trust the characters that were completing these tasks. And I, I felt like they didn't have her best interest at heart, which is something that she tends to realize as the film goes on as well. So it's disturbing and, and gross at times. And it has some surprising moments at the end. Although, you know, people said like that the, the ending is a big shocker, but at the same time, I was like, it's kind of the only way this movie could end. So maybe it's just that, maybe it's just that I've seen too many horror movies, but overall, I am recommending Immaculate slightly because I do think that the strengths of the film do outweigh its faults. Um, I think there are just there are better non exploitation movies, especially recently, that you could be spending your time on. But if you've already seen the first Omen and you want to check out another non exploitation horror film with an Immaculate conception, this one's not bad, and I, I definitely would say it's it's worth your time if this is your type of movie. So let it let me know down in the comment section below what you thought about Immaculate. Um, sorry, I've got guys working outside right now. So I was like, I thought they were knocking on the door. Let me know your thoughts on Immaculate down below in the comment section. While you're down there, please like and subscribe. They are two free things you can do that help to support the channel immensely. And you never miss new episodes of the show as it drops. Works for everybody, right? You can also find GoatFilmReviews.com for my many written reviews. There's over a thousand reviews on that website. You can also find Goat Film Reviews on Facebook. You can follow me personally at Almighty Goatman on Twitter, Instagram, Letterboxd, and Threads. And you can find my show, Kyle and Nick on Film, that I co-host with Nick Palachuk from the St. Paul Film Cast. There will be an upcoming episode of Saturday Scares with Kyle about this very film. Check out all those links down in the description. 
and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.